Okay, this is where we are gonna uh, set the dimension of the cut um, from the rail to the parallel guides. And uh, this is how we operate the rip gauge. Now we do have two sizes of this uh, extension. This is called the rip gauge XL, because it's super long, and we have a shorter one. Depends on your purposes, you could get one or the other. Um, so as I said before, the uh, plate um, has a tab that represents the thickness of your blade. So what you do to set this is choose your dimension on a tape measure, set it against here, because this is what's gonna be left from the cut, and then extend this by loosening the knob out to whatever dimension you want. So here we are doing 23 and 3 quarter inches or about 602 millimeters. So now we have a physical template for setting two stops, which is better than other parallel guides which rely on you having two separate things where you're reading two separate scales and hoping that they're the same. This is one thing, so it cannot help but be the same and you get a parallel piece. So now I'm just gonna lift this up, pop this under here, put this up against the splinter guard. Just hold this in place and now I'm gonna move the parallel guide till it contacts that, tighten the expand dog in the hole and then we can tighten the other expand dog in the slot behind it. So that's nice and solid. Lift this up, let's get this out of there. We can do the same thing on the other end. Set this guy over here. Same process. Pull that up against there, tighten this, let's pull that in the slot and tighten it. And that was a little bit loose before. There we go. All right, we're all set. Now, we're ready to cut.